everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be, to be making yet again another video. Um, I'm just so looking forward to me making these videos because I really have always had a passion for just talking in general. I like to chat so this is a good way to just talk a lot and um, just discover what life is and how the journey of life is so unique and amazing. So today's video I just wanted to tackle a few things that I feel like in life are just things to know in general and to grow and change from, if that makes sense. I'm just going to dive right into it and then you'll catch on. So the first point that I, I was just writing in my journal and I was just trying to like put down some real things and real, what's the word? Points that can really um, point you in the right direction in your life. And the first point that I absolutely love, and I've heard this from a speaker named Joyce Meyer, and she said this, and it really stuck with me ever since I heard it. And it was that if you can't love yourself, how are you supposed to love others? And oh, it just, it's like, it's still, see, Oprah says there's aha moments. She does this thing where she's like, oh, aha, that's an aha moment. And I had an aha moment when I heard Joy say that because I, I really didn't realize that if I don't love who I am, how the heck am I supposed to go around loving the people in my life? And how am I supposed to be loving to others? Because it's just going to reflect back out, outwardly on the external. Whatever's going on internally will come out on the external. So basically... You know, I'm on a journey of finding myself and loving myself. And I feel like in your 20s, that's when you really um, go through that the most. Um, at least for me, it is. Um, a lot of people say, too, that when you turn in your 30s, that's your, like, full acceptance of, like, you know who you are age. So I'll have to get to 30 and let you know. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you don't love yourself, you're just, it's not going to be, you can't love other people. So once you realize how how amazing you are and once you accept who you are then it's easier to see other people see the good in other people if you don't see the good in you you're not going to see the good in others so you need to just wake up in the morning and this is something I do is just like look in the mirror and tell yourself the things you love about yourself start your day off on a good note and just really accept who you are so that that can show in loving other people I could go on forever <laughs> So the second point, um, which I think is so vital too, is finding self worth, your self worth in God and not in people. This has been one of the biggest um, challenges personally for me. Um, I think that depends on like your belief systems and whatnot, but I truly believe that for every single human being, that um, God created that person and loves them. Not to sound preachy, but I just I. I believe it. And if you find your worth in people and in having to um, be accepted or finding worth in a job, in a career, in school, anything that is not in a bigger picture that you're always trying to strive for and try to get worth in usually will come crashing down. <laughs> and I know this from personal experience. Um, so if you find your self-worth in God, it really fulfills you in a whole nother way. Um, and like I said, I'm still on this journey, you know, and that brings me to my next point lastly, which is the biggest one for me, especially lately. Um, you know, I think that at least for me, when you go through certain situations in your life, you make mistakes and you get up and you grow and you move on. But when you go back to the old mistakes that you made, it feels like a whole um, weight on your shoulders. Like just that, you know, you go back to the old person you used to be. I can't like all these rushing thoughts that are so not true. And so basically I had an experience recently where that happened to me. But this is what I've come to the conclusion with is that when you make mistakes, you can move on. And a mistake doesn't determine who you are or your value or take away all the progress you've made. A mistake is a mistake. You are forgiven. You learn. You you move on. <laughs> so, yeah, like the saying, live and learn. You just you make a mistake and you move on. So that's my last point. Um, 
And I also have accepting what is and letting go of what what was, which is one of my favorite quotes. And, and back to what I was saying, you know, everyone has a past. Everyone has done things that they're not proud of or um, have, you know, bad habits or um, a certain behavior that you keep falling back into or a, an addiction. It could be from the biggest thing, like hard drugs to literally like watching too much TV, whatever your like bad mistake, not even mistake, but like bad habits are to like to God, they're absolutely nothing. He can completely, as long as like, as long as you go to him, he, he will wash it clear and he will just he, like, you can start a new day. Like there's a verse that says my, my mercies are new every morning. So every single time you wake up in the morning, the mistakes you made the day before are completely washed away. He doesn't look at you and look at your problems. He looks at you and sees you. Like he, there's another verse that says he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So he doesn't change his love. He's only loving. Of course, there's good and there's evil, but it's whatever you choose that matters. So as long as you choose the good, you're going to be okay. So this is just my rant and I'm really excited to be making more videos. Um, I'm just, I'm so interested in just how life works and, you know, we're all in such different, um, different seasons in our life. And I just think it's cool to just talk about it. And I just can't wait to make more videos about different things. And I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and please share. Much love to all of you.